Hey Marcus, uh, so looking at your website, um, you don't have a ton of content. You have 495 words on there. Um, one thing I did notice uh, that your competition did is they had uh, their reviews posted on here. Um, I'll show you that in a second. Um, next thing is uh, these images. Uh, you'd want to save these with keywords. I'm sure you already know that from watching another video. Uh, but yeah, you'd want to have these saved, uh, like appliance repair, uh, Fayetteville, or uh, yeah, appliance repair Fayetteville, North Carolina, or NC, or other keywords like washer repair, refrigerator repair. Um, I typed in appliance repair Fayetteville, uh, NC. Uh, I'm sure you yeah, you obviously know about the ads up here. Then the GMB. Uh, I see you right here, number three in there. Uh, so you probably get a lot of uh, traffic through your GMB, and I think you said you get quite a bit there. And then there's organic ranking. I took both these guys. Uh, this bottom guy, his website, uh, he's got quite a bit of content, and he actually has a lot more than you'd think because uh, he's got all these pages of reviews, and it all adds to his content. He's got uh, 3,523 words on there. Um, I know you have 49 reviews on here. This guy had 59. Um, so, you know, he just do all 59 reviews on his website. Uh, so it's something you could do and it would add uh, organic content to your website as well. Um, checking out this guy's images. See, he, he saves it, uh, Plans Repair uh, Fayetteville. Um, I think, yeah, he's probably obviously on, there's other Images he probably has saved keywords too. Oh, he actually doesn't do it for that one. Uh, so he missed it on that one. Oh, he did it. He did it right for one. Um, I must just happen to click on the right one. So he he kind of he kind of knows, uh, but he he only did it for one of his images. So that's you know that's a pretty, you know, it's a missed opportunity for him. Um, this guy doesn't uh, have any images. All these that look like it are just widgets and or backgrounds, and uh, you can't actually uh, save any of them. So they're not even saved. So he doesn't even do it on his page. Um, I don't know if he does it on other pages or not. But this guy only has, he has 1,261 words of content on it. He also has reviews on here. He has a lot of them, but, uh, uh, you know, only these ones show up uh, unless you click that. Um, next thing I put you into Arifs, uh, see what you look like. Uh, you got a UR15, a DR0.5, uh, 85 backlinks, 18 referring domains. It looks like you're still getting backlinks. You got uh, 10 new ones uh, this recently. Uh, it says you're only ranking for five keywords, and it says your website uh you know, it, this is all just estimated. It's uh, it's it's best guess. Um, I find this tool uh, is you know one of the best ones out there. It generally under ranks uh, or it under estimates stuff uh, about a fourth of the time they said, and it overestimates about uh, one tenth of a time. So about ten percent of the time. Um, so, you know, obviously, I think this stuff is a little bit underestimated because you said you were getting about one uh, forum a day. And uh, on here, you know, you're on the second page for appliance repair, Fayetteville, North Carolina. And then, you know, third, fourth, sixth, and eighth page there. Um, yeah, we can come in here and see what backlinks you got, too. So yeah, these are looks like some blog ones. Um, yeah, I mean that one looks like a good one right there. Uh, you know, we can come down and see what ones don't look good. You know, like you know, obviously these ones look a little bit spammy. Um, you know, so you could you know try to disavow those or get rid of them if you don't uh, want them. But I mean, and you got some good some good backlinks there. Uh, I didn't mean to. Uh, there you go. So I'll plug in this first guy in. Um, this is just his uh, his location page. 
Um, we don't have to actually be at his uh, home page because, uh, uh, you know, he's he's got uh, multiple locations. But, uh, you know, so this one, if we changed it to a domain, we could see all of his stuff. Anyway, he's got a lot more backlinks and referring domains. And keywords, obviously. Um, and this guy, you know, he's got it even more because of that. But uh, let's go check out this guy's backlinks. So that's just directories there. Uh, Yellow Pages puts a lot of a lot of back backlinks to your website. Um, one thing to point out is uh, you really only have to beat the referring domains. You only get power one time uh, from backlinks, um, you know, or from from the domain. So, uh, you know, you might get, you know, even if you got a thousand backlinks from one domain, it only counts as one, uh, in, you know, power-wise. Um, but yeah, you know, we can come find this guy, check out other cities, and get uh, the best ones for you and see what everyone else is getting and just kind of copycat them and then go, you know, and start beating them in this area. Uh, checking out the, uh, you know, obviously the keywords, going for those. Uh, you know, this is the big one, Appliance Repair, Fayetteville, North, uh, NC, 205. Uh, the lower the KD, the easier it is to rank for, the higher, the harder it is. Uh, so this one's pretty, you know, will be pretty easy to uh, get on the first page for. Um, you know, there's a refrigerator right there, 50 and 4. Obviously, you know, with refrigerators, you know, I'm sure that, you know, that one's, uh, you know, pretty urgent, you know, emergency. Um, there's appliance repair. Uh, there's parts if you sell parts, uh, but I think, I, I don't know what all you, uh, do. I, you know, services. Um. Yeah, you know, just coming down here, checking them all out. It's TV repair. I don't know if you do that, if that's, but that's uh, pretty good volume and uh, kitty, very easy. There's actually a lot of the TV repairs going through this guy. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's, you know, there's a lot of keywords out there. It looks like there's a fair amount of traffic. Um, you know, I haven't, I haven't dug too deep on this, but uh, it looks like there's quite a few keywords out there to go for um you know this is this is uh not location specific you know it just says it's just it would be considered a national keyword uh, just like that one um you can't put those on your website you know you might you know you might get some hits but uh you know that 150 volume that's throughout uh, uh the u.s versus you know if you had something that said fayetteville then you know it's just in fayetteville or you know why why would someone be searching that if they weren't in Fayetteville, so um, it's nice to just have location specific ones, but you can definitely put uh, national keywords. It's just the volume is going to be a lot less than it sh looks like, if that makes sense. Um, so going to uh, talk about the GMB. Uh, so um. With uh, the GMB, you want to make sure you have it 100% filled out. Uh, you're ranking number three already, so that's good. And uh, it looks like you have yours filled out. Um, I don't see your location, uh, so you might not have that. Um, you don't have to show the location. And I guess uh, to make the GMB, you have to have the verified location. So you probably have it all filled out. Uh, but yeah, you wouldn't want to skip a step. Right now, there's like a, a bug. Uh, you can only get to like 85%. Um, it, you know, asks for the logo. Uh, lots of people I've talked to have the same error in all their GMBs. So there's currently a bug that's going on with the GMBs. So you don't have to worry about that too much uh, if, it, if that's where you're at. Uh, then next, you want to add as many photos as you can. You know, you can come check out your competition, see how many photos they have. You know, you just have to count it up by hand and... Yeah, this guy doesn't have too many. Um, 
because that's that's the content for your GMB. The more photos, the better. And you know, last thing would be the uh, the uh, citations. Uh, it's just directories. Uh, you want to make sure that you have the same name for your GMB as on the citations, same phone number, and then the same location. Uh, putting you guys all in here, you have 13 citations. Uh, the series has 33. Uh, this one's still running, uh, but it should be mostly done. Uh, is that 27? So yeah, he's, it's not finding too many there. Um, so it looks like 33 is the number to beat. This thing only finds about 80% of them. And obviously, you know, the higher the DA, the better. So just, you know, it's just got more authority. Uh, DA is domain authority. Um, you can have uh, uh, social profile uh, citations too, like Facebook. Uh, Pinterest is a really good one to get. Uh, YouTube, there's a bunch of those. And, you know, uh, they you you definitely want to get Pinterest too. That's one that a lot of people don't get, but it's uh, it's got a good uh, DA score. Uh, you also want to, there's a lot of uh, say, uh, directories out there. And, you know, the DA score matters too. Um, but, you know, the more you get, the better. Um, and you just, you know, you can just go fill it out. It'll also give you backlinks and it'll help you organically ranking. I just go to the websites and you try to, um, you know, you just uh, fill out and uh, make your claim your listing or uh, make a listing. Um, and then uh, reviews are fourth on the list. So, we're, you know, the more reviews you have, you can rank just by reviews if you have them but uh the reviews will help you but it's not the most important thing and also uh the organic ranking of your website plays a role in the uh, gmb so if you're ranked good organically uh you'll also be ranked uh, ranking good here um it just it helps boost that uh but yeah hopefully that helps um I've enjoyed talking with you. Uh, I'd love to hear your feedback on this video. It's probably not as polished as normal. Um, I try to go a little more in depth with some stuff. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. Um, I look forward to talking to you soon. Have a good rest of your day.